It seems like while other people are enjoying Valentine's Day, some are suffering, such as these students in CPUT. These kids have nowhere to go. They have no food, no place to sleep, sleeping in the street like homeless people. These are the future of South Africa. But let's get down to the story and break it down. Today I'm sending a direct message out to Dr. Blade in Zimande, the Minister for Higher Education, Science and Innovation. Minister, as I'm speaking to you, there are students at CPUT that are stranded. They have no accommodation. In the early hours of this morning, they were evicted from the wall that they were sleeping at on the CPUT campus. Now these students are young women and these are young boys. This is in an area where you will find very homeless people setting up shelter. It is a dangerous area for these kids to be stranded having no place to sleep tonight. Some will seek shelter in police stations. Some will also seek shelter under some form of bridge or tree that they can find just to safeguard themselves. You are putting our children's lives at risk. The Nesfa's accommodation cap is clearly not working in the city of Cape Town. It will surely not work in the city of Johannesburg. Rental for students is expensive in the metros. And clearly this accommodation cap is leaving most of our students stranded. Nesfa's qualifying students stranded. And because they cannot attend classes, because they are worried what's going to be happen to their belongings, they are scared for their safety and their security. Yet again, at the end of the year, we will find that some of these students are going to fail or they might just drop out now because they are stranded. The ball is in your court, Minister, to make sure that by tomorrow, those students have some form of accommodation, that you engage the Vice-Chancellor of CPUT to ensure that those students are housed. We cannot have a situation where we brag about so many students that you are enrolling, but yet most of them will be left stranded and most of them are left in the lurch by Nesfas. Tomorrow we will have Nesfas in front of us, Minister. You better give us a good uh, explanation why those kids were left out. You better give us a good answer what you are going to do. If not you, Good evening, everyone. <laughs>
Ani puma ndone zitete sa yomani. Ha. Yar. Ani puma ndone zitete sa ni dani ni nani. Oh, kogu nyaka no nyaka. Kwanza ka the same thing. Nyaka no nyaka. Ani dinwa ndoni. Izi parents zen. How would you feel by being abandoned and abandoned? Ah, baya. How would you feel? Nda ole inde mwenge kamale tu nisikupa kuyo. For what good reason? For what? It's really unfortunate what's happening to those kids there at CPUT. My condolences to them. I know that especially now it's a difficult time. People are having a good time with their families, with their partners, and they have to be in the streets, you know, at such a young age. You know, looking at this happening right now during election, it shows that South Africa really needs to wake up and that we need to watch what we do to the kids because, you know, the kids are the future. And if we treat the kids like this, the students, the ones that are trying to change the economy for the future, it means that we not it's not really a bright future. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know at the comments below and have a good time. Until the next story.